What's up, everybody? This is Empress 555 coming at you today with another reading for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look into your energy. We're going to see what's there, see what's in store, okay? Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new readings. Leave me a comment in the comment section to let me know how and if the reading resonates with you. All right. Thank you so much for my new subscribers. I really appreciate all your love and support. If you would like a personal reading from me, please see the information in the description box below. All right, Pisces, let's take a look. Hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much to my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys and girls. Oh, Pisces, I get the feeling that you are at a place of feeling like you are worthy of love. Maybe you've always felt this, but at this time, you are feeling like you are very much worthy of love. And this is coming from a place of maybe not getting the love that you wanted or you deserved in the past. Saying goodbye to a lot of betrayal, a lot of anger. Somebody has remorse. Maybe you know this, Pisces, intuitively. Oh, yeah. Overall energy, Pisces, I have the Page of Wands in the reverse, Aries, Leo, Sag. That energy, Pisces, overall, I am getting the feeling that you are at a place of knowing that you deserve love okay there may have been a time frame in there where you didn't think that you would receive that love but at this time pisces it's almost like a window of opportunity has opened up for you where you're feeling more carefree here so you know what you deserve we have the ace of pentacles here virgo towards capricorn yeah so you're well aware some of you could be in a new love situation. We have the Page of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you could be in a new love situation or you've just come to the realization that you deserve true love, new love. Clarify that Page of Cups there with the Three of Swords. Yes, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Because at one time you experienced a situation that was devastating. Could have involved a third party situation. The high priestess, but you were your best self. You showed up as your best self regardless of how you were treated. Clarify that high priestess here with the ace of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. This is very noticeable, Pisces, and you're also missed because of your loyalty. Yeah. Judgment card here. Yeah. You know what you contributed to the situation. And this is what this past energy they miss about you is that loyalty. Clarify that judgment card. Yes, four of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. They miss that loyalty. And they also reminisce on what they could have had with you. That celebration, maybe a wedding, maybe something like that. Wow. Eight of swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and in reverse. That's the energy you came out of, Pisces, getting the feeling that you may have felt a little bound, a little stuck, a little torn when you were with this past energy. Clarify that Ace of Swords in the reverse with the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sag, yeah. It left you confused. It left you, some of you could have felt ashamed. Just totally off balance with this past energy. Okay. We have the Nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, yeah. You could have felt like you took a lot of beatings from this situation, not literally, but you could have felt like you took a lot of hits, a lot of um, jabs from this person. Maybe this person had a sharp tongue. Maybe they said things to you that you just knew that you didn't deserve. Clarify that um, Nine of Wands with the Ten of Cups, because you knew you deserved better, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, so the way that you were treated, Pisces, is the complete opposite of what you deserve. And I think that's the new opportunity and love that you're feeling. 
We have the Knight of Wands here in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah. That's the new love and adventure that you're feeling because you're starting to feel what you deserve, what you have deserved all along. Clarify that Knight of Wands with the Ace of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah. You deserve your ultimate happiness. You deserve someone that's going to reciprocate the love that you tried to give this past person. Yeah. We have the Five of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sag. I get the feeling, Pisces, there was a lot going on. This has come up a lot. But it didn't stop how you felt about what you deserve in love or what you wanted to give to someone that's deserving. Clarify that Five of Wands with the Justice card. Yes, in the reverse. Absolutely. There was a lot going on, but you still stayed loyal to this person. You still stayed loyal. But in the end, Pisces, you could have felt like you didn't receive justice, an apology, an explanation. You could literally feel that way. And this person probably knows that. Clarify that justice card. Yeah, two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sash. They thought a lot about it. Probably still thinking about that opportunity they could have had with you and the closure that they didn't give you, Pisces. We have the Eight of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This represents just where you are, maybe financially, spiritually, but somewhere in there you have found a new sense of happiness. You know with the World card here that it's time for you to take advantage of this new part of your life. Clarify that um, Eight of Pentacles there with the Hierophant and the Reverse Taurus energy. You know what you deserve now. You're not letting anyone's influence, negative influence, change that. Because maybe there was some negativity from this person that maybe interfered with how you felt about your efforts temporarily. But somewhere, Pisces, deep down, you knew that you deserve better. All right? That world card, we're going to clarify that because that's the opportunity that you are seeing now in new love clarify that world card with the star in the reverse yeah you see opportunity now because you're coming out of a place of not seeing it or not feeling it because i think it was this person's energy that just kind of blocked how you were trying to feel about what you deserve how does this person see pisces at this time the lovers gemini energy oh my my they have a greater appreciation for you, Pisces. I get the feeling some of you have completely shut the door. And now all they can think about is that situation that you had with them, with the lover's card. That's all they can think about. Jeez. Some of them could even feel like you have new love. Okay? Some of them could literally feel like you have new love. Are there any regrets? With the... Seven, the Six of Pentacles, was it seven? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the cards look different sometimes. With the Seven of Pentacles here, Pisces, this person could be a person that is successful in their own right, his or her own right. But when they think about you, Pisces, it's kind of like, I have this happiness, I have this fulfillment, but I don't have my Pisces. What does new love look like for Pisces at this time? Three of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Great opportunity out there. Opportunities that you can't see just yet. Earth energy. Because you had that world card, Wheel of Fortune, pretty much. Okay. Clarify that. Um, three of Pentacles in the reverse with the Five of Swords. Four of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, yeah. That five of swords, five could be significant. I don't know why I said five. Five could be significant to you. Maybe this happened five months ago, five years ago. Okay. Five could be significant with the five of swords here. Yeah, this represents the energy that you walked away from. The betrayal. Yeah. 
advice for my Pisces at this time. Four of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. When you think about the past, Pisces, try to look at the good that you gained, okay? Because what I get the feeling that you're not even aware that this person is looking at the good that you brought to their life. Clarify that Four of Swords. Look at that. Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. They're not looking at the burdens that were there as much. Maybe you remember because, hey, you may have been more of the giver or the one that was putting in the most effort at that time. But they have, it's, it's like when they think about you, Pisces, this is where they are. They are thinking about the lovers. They are thinking about how it felt to have you. They're not thinking about the sadness, the sorrow, the burdens. They're not thinking about that. So remember the happiness that you gained from this. Despite the pain, remember the happiness and always remember they lost you. So now all they have are memories. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That knight there riding on the horse, holding that pentacle, that's all they have is memories. All they have, and they hold those memories dear to their heart. They hold that memory dear to their heart of you. But they notice that you, with the Six of Swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you are long gone emotionally from this situation. That doesn't mean you may have stopped loving this person. But Pisces, you tapped into a side of yourself where you recognize that you deserve more. You deserve better. Yeah. With the Fool card here. You, that represents what you feel that you deserve to be free to find that love that you've always wanted. That you wanted with this person. But they weren't ready. Wow. Wow. All right, Pisces, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new readings. If this reading resonated with you and you'd like a personal, please email me at intuitive.piscean.empress at gmail.com. Thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, bye.